All right. Uh, we got NFC championship. It's going to be a good one. Um, I think it's a little closer than the AFC to me. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I think it's two teams we didn't expect to see in the NFC championship, right? I mean, is this who you expected? Not me. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but I did have them in my – postseason picks i did not i, I expected uh packs pack bucks that's yeah, I, did, I, have. I did have the packers <laughs> yeah. that no, didn't work out too well so not really no no uh no that that's so yeah i mean mazel talk to these two teams from the nfc west uh so it's the third time they're meeting this season yeah yeah, and if if it should happen, the Rams could be the first team ever to host and win a NFC championship in their home arena and then host perhaps win a game in their own arena. I mean that's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Don't think that's, that's no, happen. yeah, that is very cool actually. Um yeah. The <clears throat> the Rams are funny. They're both these teams are funny. God. First of all, it should have been a blowout. Let's just be honest. Uh, last weekend with the Rams and Bucks. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Four fumbles <laughs> in the second half. Four fumbles in the oh, second half. You and I were watching that game. Mm-hmm. We're just like, okay, it, it's like what, twenty-seven to three, something like that. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, how how can the Rams give the ball to the Bucks right now? And boom, yes. the center right over Stafford's head. Like, uh, that, <laughs> didn't see that coming. Thought it'd be an interception. Yeah. Maybe a fumble. Didn't see that coming. They just wanted to fumble the hell out of the ball. I mean, it was crazy. Because remember, that was after uh, Cooper Cup fumbled the series before that. Akers put it on the ground twice. Yeah. Uh, uh, At the end of the half, the first half, hits his head, puts it on the ground, the one-yard line, uh, and then fumbles again in the second half. Like, oh, my God. I've never seen that. I've never seen a team that was so comfortably in the lead <laughs> try to give another team a game. That was that was amazing. That was amazing. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> uh, Brady showed off why he was the GOAT. Let's just be honest. Yeah, I mean he willed his defense to force four fumbles. That was awesome. And recovered. Awesome. Not only forced them, recovered all of them. Recover. Got to recover them. That's and- that's you can't just you can't just force them. You got to recover them. And <laughs> the the snap to oh uh, <laughs> Stafford was so hard. I don't think Odell Beckham Jr. could have caught it, even being ready for it. That's yeah. how bad the snap was. I've never seen anything like that. He snapped it like uh, Stafford throws it. So <laughs> it was crazy. That was freaking nuts. And then you got. Um... The Packers just choking. Oh, my God. So Aaron Rodgers is from Northern California. Mm-hmm. Started to be drafted by the Niners. Uh, they certainly had the pick. Uh, they chose otherwise. And he's, like, one to make him pay ever since. And yet the opposite has happened. The Niners, he's 0-4 yeah. against the 49ers in the playoffs. Oh my God. Oh my. And, and, and for Rodgers, I think it was kind of an all in season, right? He's going to show his ass. Yeah. Uh, off, field, off field. He's going to he show his he ass. He hasn't stopped showing his ass, man. Oh my God. The dude hasn't shut up. He has not shut up the entire season. So to me, hey, dude, go out, win MVP, win the Super Bowl. And everyone else can just fuck off. Yeah. 
But we haven't wrapped up the MVP yet, although he should still get it. Yeah, probably. And uh, you choked in the first game that you played in the playoffs. It's kind of rough, man. It's kind of rough. I mean, because he was all in, right? He had all his chips in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was kind of devastating to watch. Yeah. Uh, if I, you know, actually like the guy, it would be a little heartbreaking to see. But well, obviously, uh, don't really care. <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't mind seeing him lose. So. But at the same time, I do have regret because, unfortunately, I mean, this this could be the breakup of my marriage. Jimmy Garoppolo goes on, and he's on television again. Yeah. Wife is already in love with him. Yeah. I can see more of this guy's mug for at least another week. I'm hoping to God they get knocked out this week i don't yeah. think my marriage can take it well you know what's funny is she's already commissioned serious serious she's already commissioned a life-size oil painting of jimmy g in the nude she wants to hang it in our bedroom well yeah i mean i get that yeah. disturbing brother uh, Just, Yes, I, I she accidentally texted me. Um, did you get the tickets to LA yet? And I'm like, I think you got the wrong number. So I keep a lookout. I don't know what's going to happen, but <clears throat> it's getting a little crazy. Uh, but man, he's handsome. So I would get it in a heartbeat, or he would get it in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Whatever. We don't have to talk semantics. Uh, <laughs> um, so the line is three and a half, by the way. Uh, These guys, this is the third meeting this year. Third yeah. meeting. Division opponents. Uh, the Niners have won the pre two previous meetings, including the last week of the regular season. Yep. Which is what? <laughs> you know, what's funny is <laughs> when teams get on a roll, you're like, well, it's not the same team that the, they played, but they literally just played. Them. So I think uh, San Francisco's confidence is going to be very high. Um, cause they've already beat him and they beat him at home was the, the last time they beat him. Correct. Was in LA. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they're not scared of SoFi. So. No, no one is dude. I mean, <laughs> yeah. SoFi could be anyone's home stadium. Yeah, true. Um, so having said all that, I still think the Rams are a better team and Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy G can turn it over like, the Rams can. This is going to be a goofy game. I th- I feel like it's going to be a goofy game because they're both goofy teams, like we said. But uh, well, I, I got the Ram- I got the Rams covered. Is how I got. It. So I, I read an article today that said a um, beating someone three times in a row. That's a myth. You know, you you it. You, they say you can't beat someone three times in a row. That's a myth. Uh, they say it's like the roulette wheel. Like uh, what you saw, you know, 18 came up um, 10 rolls ago. And you walk up to that thing believing, well, it's due again because it did. Well, I, I, it's not the same thing, right? Roulette, it's a ball and a wheel. It's got nothing to do with football. Mm-hmm. These teams met. They know each other. And they're not scared of each other. And actually, one knows they can beat the other because they've done it twice, right? Yeah. I just don't think the same thing. Yes, you can beat a team three times in a season. You can. It's not going to happen, though. It's yeah. not going to happen. <laughs> I think the Rams are on a roll right now, with the exception of the second half of Lax Week's game. Right. They are on Role. Hey, but the last play of that game was awesome. Um, it was oh yeah yeah the the cup reception that 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 was awesome. However, uh, Garoppolo he doesn't look good, man. I mean, to me he's like um, 
Carson Wentz. He's like uh, uh, Tannehill. He's like all these guys. Like he just seems like this uh, game manager who you hope to God doesn't make the biggest. <laughs> right, right. You know? And I, I think that comes to roost uh, this game. Look, the NFC Championship game, it has to come home to roost, right? Yeah. You can't let this guy go on, although he did. I mean, the, the Niners were in the Super Bowl two years ago. Yeah, so he's done it before. Uh, he's a lucky dog, uh, not only because he was blessed with good looks, but I, I just think, man, it, the first the first playoff game, he tried to give it away, you know? Um, he tried. Right. And, look, he only scored – they only scored 13 points. It's just he got lucky that an MVP uh, only scored 10. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I just have to believe that – the Rams are going to win. I mean, <laughs> you look conversely. So the Rams uh, ran out to that big lead against the Bucks last week, and then they tried like hell to choke it away. They tried like hell to give that game back. So there's that. But um, you know what? I just, I just believe that the Rams are going to beat them. I, I think uh, reality comes crashing down on the Niners, and their season's over. Uh, they move on from Garoppolo, and he, he goes to wherever, probably the Colts. And, you know, it is what it is. But I, I think it's over. I think, actually, th this entire weekend of football is going to be kind of a letdown from what we had the previous weekend. Yeah, it, well, it, it, it would have been anyway because that uh, oh. specifically Sunday was phenomenal. So, yeah. But so we both got the Rams and covering, covering, covering. Yeah. So it uh, should be an okay weekend of football. Okay day of football. It should be okay, man. Just okay. But it's still football. It's still football. So football. And this is the last full weekend yeah. of football, unless you're into halftime shows and pregame shows. And Pro Bowls. Yeah, this is the last full weekend of football, so everyone enjoy. But yeah. You know. Yeah, just not it's gonna come up a little short <laughs> from the standard that they uh put on us last weekend. So buy a lot of beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So anyway, enjoy the weekend, and I think we're done here. Yeah, I'm done.